I'm gonna brainstorm. I'm gonna work. Oh my god! What did you do? We stuffed a PVC pipe in there. <laughs> <laughs> The cactus, a plant that screams, don't touch me, due to the spiky spines it grows for protection. Undoubtedly, the cactus is a scary plant, but would it make for an effective projectile if it was fired out of a potato cannon? Well, in the name of science, I'm once again putting my body in the line of fire to find out. <laughs> science, science. All right, before I get shot, I first want to understand the potential of this here cactus cannon. So first we'll be shooting Joust and Holmes with the cactus just to see what it does. I'm pretty excited. Mark, how about you? I'm also pretty excited. I think there's gonna be quite a few needles in Joust and Holmes. Think we'll get a lot of data from this? More data than you expect. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Good. Let's get blasting. Datafied. Let's get datafying. Here, data go. Let's get data Whatever. Data delicious. Whatever. Now I'm sure some of you are curious how we're gonna pull off the cactus cannon. It's pretty simple, honestly. We're gonna put a small potato wedge all the way to the bottom of the cannon, and then on top of that, we'll be resting the cactus. That way, the potato launches the cactus out. I think it's pretty scientifically sound. I don't see any potential problems here. You're telling me you didn't test this before we started? Absolutely not. Do you ever? Rarely. This is why we're safe. <sighs> All right, Mark, stuff her like a turkey. Nice, wait. Oh no, we, I mean, I imagine that's, that. I went too far. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> Come on, world strongest man. <laughs> I got a lab coat on right now. <laughs> I'm a scientist. Come on, world's strongest Science. scientist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a little bit of WD-40 can't fix. Uh, my relationship with my parents. No, have you, have you squirted your parents with WD-40? That's why I don't have a relationship with my parents. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Oh yeah, she's she's moist now. <laughs> <laughs> Can this be the video instead? <laughs> <laughs> now my hands are just oily. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> well, at my old stopping grounds, my parents' house, to get a wrench to open the potato cannon. You guys just, you know, stay here, and uh, I'm, I'll be right back. Okay. Science, right, guys? Science! Science. Yeah. yeah! Woo! All right, Mark, in the driver's seat, take the car. Okay. <laughs> back it up. <laughs> <laughs> the power of leverage. We so don't break the plastic. Hold it tight, Mark. Oh my god. Oh. Nice. Cool. <laughs> ah. It's okay, you're alright, Mark. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> Wrenches. Invest in them. It's time to fire the cactus, finally, after... An hour. An hour. No! Good evening, peasants. My sponsor, Established Titles, is offering you the honor, nay, the privilege, of becoming a lord or lady by becoming a certified landowner in Edelson, Scotland. However, for each square foot of land purchased, a tree will also be planted in support of restoration efforts, while also preserving the natural beauty of Scotland. By purchasing an established title, you are bestowed the honor of changing your name on documents like your credit card or dating profile. Each plot features a unique number that shows the exact location of your plot. It makes an amazing last minute gift for those hard to shop for wenches and swains. And couple packs included joining plots so you can stay together forever. 
And established titles is running an early Black Friday sale. And if you use code Houston Jones, you can get an additional 10% off. Okay, peasants, I will make you a deal. The first 200 people to purchase a title using my link will get a plot of land adjacent to mine so that we can build the kingdom of Houston Jones together. Some of you may die. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You're a monster. Thank you, Established Titles, for sponsoring this video. Go to establishedtitles.com slash Houston Jones to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Sword not included. Well, the good news is it works. So what I'm thinking is I got a wide range of cacti that we can fire at my leg. And uh, I guess we're just gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm not sure if I will get like totally stuck with spines or if it'll just be the mostly the potato hitting me, but it's only one way to find out. Any poisonous cacti in there? I don't know. You think I did that much research? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Already the first cactus we're shooting at me is the uh, Hager Rognicus Corisca sonathus. Um, it's a native cactus to Peru. Um, let's see what happens. I think it's gonna fit pretty good in the tube, so it should be very aerodynamic, I'm thinking. Why are you looking at me? I'll see if you confirm what I said. Well, you're always right. Because I'm head scientist? Head scientist. <laughs> Head of something. I don't know if it's. I'm dying. the head of head. No. <laughs> good fit. Good fit. All right. Everything's going smooth. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right in the tip of my finger. You've been perused. <sighs> Peru has done me dirty. For that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> rid of some of this, we don't need that. That's just useless. Look, that's the perfect size. It's not even breaking them off, they're just folding. One small step for man, one large step for mankind is what they say, I believe. Um, I'm hoping that's the case here. Um, are we going? Ah! That was bad timing on me asking that. Oh, it's effective, it's effective, it's so effective. It's wildly effective. The results are in and it's good. Oh Lord, oh Lordy, oh man, oh geez, oh God, oh Lord, oh. Oh man. <laughs> Slow mo didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but on the bright side. I hit you right in the bruise. We know it works. And we can re replicate the science because <laughs> What science about being able to replicate data? Is You're that correct. Wrong? You're correct. Uh, it's fine. It's uh, probably the theme of the the underlying theme of this video is just nothing working. Well, <laughs> it is effective though. Like you can see the spines in me. Very. So uh, what was that called again? The Peru cactus. The Peru cactus was pretty effective, but we got another one, and then quite a few other ones to test. So let's uh, keep it going, and hopefully we get slow mo on the next one. Next cacti. It's the old man of the Andes, better known as the Oreo Cirrus tro trolley. Um, uh, this is native to South America. Uh, as you can see, it has some very intimidating spines there. Um, I'm almost thinking it might be a little bit more effective than the last one. The last one had little spines. This one's got big, thick, meaty spines. I hope it sticks in you and it stays. That would be a good shot. That would be great. Science, right? Ready? One, two, three. Science! Science. We've gotten good nice. job. Yeah. Let's shoot. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Be gentle. Do a gentle stuffing on this one. It's like you're, it's a turkey that you are Basting. ever so cautiously stuffing full of stuff. I think this is going to be good. I think uh, we're going to get a lot of data out of this and uh, everyone collectively in the world will uh, have a, a data boner. No. What about the woman? The, they'll, they'll just be sopping wet with data. No. Mm, no? Think about the children. What about the kids? Let's not talk about the kids. They're my smallest demographic. Well, uh, we got the old man of the Andes coming in hot. I haven't had an old man, you know, really get me good in a long time. I don't know if an old man's ever really got me that good. 
but uh, first for everything, right? You know? Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, there's some spine. Oh, there's it's a duck. There's a spine in here. <laughs> and potato. <laughs> Don't no. A hair per, hairspray propellant. That one had a little bit more of a punch behind it. Uh, really rock solid. Knocked my uh, you know my brain control hat off. So. I might be getting some signals now, um, but uh, the science must go on. There are more cacti to fire. So let's fire them. Okay. Next cacti we got here is the uh, Espadota mirabilis. Um, this one is uh, also native to Peru and it coexists with the Trixithiorus blossom fernata curmum. Now this one, I think it will be an interesting one because it has some soft spines in there, but it's got some little little harder ones as well. So it's like a mixture. It's like a 50-50 mixture. I don't know. That last one was impressive. I got a big thing stuck in me, a big spine. So tough to beat, but uh, let's find out what happens. I think it'll beat it. Why? Give me one reason why. Mm, I just have a feeling. So uh, that wasn't a good reason. Uh, there was no compelling scientific theory behind that. Mark's an idiot and I'll keep saying it until he gives me a good reason for something. Sometimes you don't need a reason in science, you just need faith. That's that. <laughs> uh, this is a pro tip uh, for firing cactuses out of a potato cannon, get rid of all this stuff. Decent Not that I'm giving anyone instructions on how to do this. Remember, we're trained professionals, please don't try this at home, but uh, you know. Desoil. Desoil, yeah, desoil your cactus. Always desoil your cactus, it's an important step. Everyone should know that. Look at that fit, oh my God. Oh, it's something about a cactus fitting really good in a cannon really gets me going. And not, not in like in a scientific way. In, uh, in what way? Like uh, it's like getting my scientific boner going. Uh, in my brain, in my brain boner. It's just like my, my, my brain's getting hard. Houston, we talked about this. We got to cut back on the sexual end of ending. Yeah. It wasn't sexual. I mean, it's, it's like, it's, it's just use, passion. <laughs> yeah, it's passion. You use science and boner in the same sentence. Those, those. I'm taught that's a medical terminology, uh, you know, because I'm also, uh, you know, trying to get a doctorate. Oh, I thought you had one. No, I'm a reverend and a lord. This is news to me. Oh, lord. Well, you say, you know, lord reverend. Oh, lord, lord reverend. reverend. Lord reverend Jones? Jones. Yes, Jones. yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I want to make a deal. I'm not going to react on this cacti, and when I do so, You'll all like the video for the knowledge we gained. <laughs> Your fingers cracked. <laughs> They're liking the video. Your leg's missing. It's weird because that one uh, strangely hurt the worst. I haven't looked at my leg yet. Let's take a look. Okay. There's yeah. a lot of juice. Yeah, let me. There's potato and cactus and dirt. Use around here, right? Yeah. Yep. So it has a. Dis oh, look at that. It's getting nice and clean. You see that spine in there? Look at this one right here, right here. It's on my finger now, but it's a little little spine. Um, I'm noticing, uh. opposed to just shooting potatoes at me, all the cacti have the distinct ability to make me bleed. This is good. Data. I found some other good data. I was gonna put this in. Doesn't fit. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but that is uh, besides the point because I didn't react. So everyone's gotta like the video, right, Mark? That's right. Deal's a deal. <laughs> Deal's a deal. Uh, and uh, any true scientist worth their salt would honor a deal. Join the science community. Well, they already are a part of the science community. They're watching this video. I was talking about the ones who, Oh, who yeah, are. yeah, because yeah. there are some, I know some of you don't some like, <laughs> you know, because I always make these deals work. And, you know, it's like, you know, 500,000 views on the video and not 500,000 likes, so. Well, it doesn't add up. <laughs> up next is the Mamarilla Ginsa Maru. Uh, there is uh, no native location apparently for this one, but uh, it has these longer spines. However, I don't know if it's gonna do as much damage because on the top there, it's not as bad. 
I don't know, this one's a big question to me. It could be really bad, could not be that bad. A lot of the other cacti fit pretty well into the tube. This one's a, a bit more bulbous. <laughs> the science goes on apparently people could hear our science happening so they came to see what was going on and i was like you know just another day in the office you know why does it smell like i'm on fire every time you shoot that i think less propellant is more In this case, you're bruising like a cacti. No, no. Cacti don't bruise, okay? You do now. Yeah, hold on, let's take a look. It's completely smushed. <laughs> he bruised. I mean, you could probably say this is a bruised cacti, so yeah, fine, I'll, I'll agree with you this time. But we're losing sunlight, so we got two more cacti to shoot, so let's shoot. Data! Data, data, data. The next cactus is the silver arrow. It's also known as the Mamarillus Nedja penis. No, Nedja penis. Nedja penis. Yeah, I said that. Um, this one uh, is native to Mexico. Um, I don't know. It seems pretty scary to me, honestly. Ole! Cuantos cuesta? Pagan la cara? Si. Si. No entiendo. Does anyone know what anyone's saying? Oh, she's a slider. Uh, just like home. What? 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 What, what did I say that was weird? Just like home. Yeah, just like, whatever. Uh, so the, the penis is going in here. Uh, the the mamarillus pen, oh, no. jet gel pen and penis. Uh, jet, yep. Magic penis. The magic penis is going in. Magic penis. The magic penis is going in. Uh, Oh, you hear that? That was a nice noise. <laughs> I tell you what, I've heard that noise uh, at least. Once in your life. Once in Maybe. Was that at home? At a movie. Movie? Oh, nice. I was watching a movie. Oh, it was a scene from a movie? Adult movie. Adult movie? Anime. No comment. No comment. It was hentai. It's been a long day, I'll be honest. It's never easy to be a scientist. Some would say it's hard. I really hope it doesn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Same as last time? Yeah, the, the, currently the data is uh, sticking into me, I think. Um, I can't tell, there's just too much data on top of data that it just looks like- You're saying it's a data overload. We have too much data, if that was possible. I don't even know where I hit you. Hit oh, you. That's, that's definitely a spine stuck into me there, but we'll leave it. Um, that, no, I don't, that's just a hair, um, or something from a cacti. It's pretty compelling data, I'll, I'll be honest, but uh, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we didn't get slow-mo for the first cacti shot at me, so we're gonna do that over, and then uh, we'll see what everything shows. Prepare to be knowledge. Knowledge? Oh, use knowledge like a verb. That's something you do. I'm gonna brainstorm. I'm gonna work. Oh my god. Why are you guys laughing so much? It seems a little bit suspicious. <laughs> How'd it feel? How'd it feel? Really bad. <laughs> what had, what, what did you do? We stuffed a PVC pipe in there. <laughs> How'd you like? <laughs> oh, no. It didn't break. You literally launched this at me? <laughs> <laughs> we put pretzels in, I'm like, that's not gonna do anything. No wonder it was taking so long. I was monologuing over here, I'm like, geez, I'm running out of stuff to say. <laughs> Very sorry. Well, uh, I did ruin the last test, uh, kind of, kind of. Uh, 
But, uh, oh, well, we got even more data from a different projectile. <laughs> so I can't be too upset. Uh, can't we shoot out of a potato cannon? You know what? Mystery potato cannon. Houston doesn't know what's coming. Mm, comment down below if you want to see it happen. We'll just stuff random stuff in here and launch it at me. It sounds like a good idea. Not a again. <laughs> Time to review the data. Um, as you can see, yeah, you can probably see that. Um, quite frankly, I think uh, that was thanks to the PVC pipe that just got shot at me. Maybe it just got, helped gush out some of the, you know, wounds the cactus did and the PVC pipe really finished me off there. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of impressive data, I would say. I will say this as well, I think the cactus potato cannon is more effective than just potatoes. So that's something to note, but I will come back in a couple days once the blood's all clear, review the data, and I'll give you guys my final verdict. Let us uh, know what you want the potato cannon, what you want in it. <laughs> <laughs> data review time. So the picture you're looking at right now was taken two days after the experiment. And as you can see, I have significant bruising where the cacti hit me and a bunch of tiny little scabs due to the spines cutting and sticking into my skin. But wait, there's more because we got some bonus data in this video. Of course, I'm talking about when I got shot with the PVC pipe, which left even more significant bruising than the cacti and a giant half circle scab due to the pipe cutting me. And one week later, I still have some visible bruising and scabs, especially where the PVC pipe hit me. Also, I think it's important to note that I was picking cactus spines out of my leg for over a week after this experiment. Some of them I had to pop out of my leg like a pimple. And whenever I was wearing pants, I could feel all the cactus spines still stuck into my leg, which was some pretty interesting data, if you ask me. So in conclusion, I think it's safe to say that cactus make for effective projectiles when fired out of a potato cannon. Who could have guessed? <laughs> All right, that was uh, sarcastic. I'm sure most of you probably could have guessed that at the start of the video. But we also learned that PVC pipes also make for extremely effective projectiles, which, um, you know, I can't say that's news to me, but I didn't know for sure until, you know, I got shot with one. Now I, I really know. I, I firmly believe that PVC pipes are scary flying objects.